This woman spent 44 years searching for her missing daughter after a kidnapping in the 70s. She's suing the South Korean government, an orphanage and an adoption agency after learning her daughter had been found and sent to the US. Many missing children were sent overseas and now, through DNA tests, are being found. While finding their missing children, family members have become sick, ended up wasting their wealth and gone through tragic lives, and no one is taking responsibility. The authority could have easily found her if they'd made sure the police worked together and properly checked child protection facilities. They could have done it but failed. Why? We think because they didn't do their jobs. Her lawyer says this is a first-of-its-kind lawsuit over a child's wrongful adoption. But South Korea's Truth and Reconciliation Commission is investigating hundreds of overseas adoptions. In some cases, the commission believes the original child had died and the adoptive family wasn't told. Instead, the agency sent another child of a similar age who had been abandoned or was relinquished by the birth parents with the previous child's documents. This document from the 70s has raised long-standing questions for another adoptee. I didn't think that the photo looked like me. Um, And I would say to my mother, my adoptive mother, um, I don't think this is me, it doesn't look like me. A medical expert looked at Miss Kimmel's adoption photos and told her she was right. It's very, very uh, traumatic, to say um, the least, to not understand what happened, um, to not be able to get answers uh, about what the truth is, and um, to experience so many layers of gaslighting over time regarding what your real identity is. Ms Kimmel searched online for parents who had been separated from their children and contacted a father who had given up his twins after his wife's emergency C-section. The nurse said that since she couldn't raise the babies and they could possibly die, they would try to arrange for the babies to go to another country or family where they could be raised and have a chance at survival. The pair took a DNA test and found she wasn't a match, but these twins were. Our whole life, we were told very little information that we were, we were in a sense, abandoned or left at a hospital. What we knew our entire lives until we met Mr. Park really is vastly different than what really happened. South Korea's Truth and Reconciliation Commission was due to wrap up in May, but it's been extended to next year as investigations continue. Lachlan Patrick, ABC News.